Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already had my coffee. I got up super early this morning. Um, but anyhow, so I found out that Alice D ordered me something at Tractor Supply Company, so I've got to go pick it up. <laughs> Look at this. This is what Alice D sent me. Look at that. That is a big, big chicken coop. Oh my gosh. It's got a nesting box. This is the hen house and it's got a nice big run. So I don't even have to build a yard onto this. But look how absolutely huge it is. They let me keep the pallet it came on. Oh my gosh. It fills the entirety of my truck bed. So I can't get this out. I'm just going to have to open the box and take the pieces out and place them where I'm going to build this huge coop. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Alice. Oh my goodness. It's called the Producer's Pride Prairie Coop. You can get it from Tractor Supply Company, and this is a substantial sized chicken coop. It's got two roosts outside. I think it's got two on the inside as well. That little nesting box there, there's actually three nesting boxes in there, and you just lift the little lid and get your eggs out. And here's a photo of someone who actually bought it and put it together, and I like how they have it on top of um, cement pavers. I think that that's what I'm going to do eventually. It will prolong the life of the wood if it's not sitting on the ground and getting damp. So I will definitely do that eventually. I don't have them now, so I'm just going to have to find a place and put it together. I was thinking of maybe putting it out here by the van, just right out here. It stays pretty well shaded here throughout the day, so this may be an option. Another option would be to put it somewhere inside this yard, actually. And why that might be a good idea is because it just gives it another layer of protection. If something gets in the yard, it's going to set off my security alarm. And I'll be able to keep an, a closer eye on it. Um, I think I'd have to move this around. I could even put it right here where this little pan is. And just take all that out. I don't know. I'm just going to have to think about it. It's going to be a job. Yep, I think I may end up putting it maybe like right there. So, <sighs> going to have to think this through. Because after it's built, it's a substantial sized coop. So, <sighs> wish me luck, guys. Another consideration is putting it somewhere in this little garden area. Maybe right up against this fence area. Um, because they'd still have this other layer of protection. And there is a security light right there that comes on. And raccoons, they don't like to be scared by lights. Um, I could put it right along this fence here. And just have... A little chicken yard right back in here. Um, I could even build on to it, make it a like a yard, a little bit bigger of a yard. So that's another consideration. Another consideration is putting it out here somewhere. But I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of having it in a yard, so it's kind of like a yard within a yard. Oh, look at Papa's been digging. He loves to scratch off the top layer of soil because it's cool down there below. So lots to think about. Thank you so much, Alice, for this wonderful, wonderful gift. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. When you said you'd ordered me something, I figured, you know, maybe some chicken feed or some chicken bedding or something like that. But that, that is a huge, huge gift. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I think that I will end up putting it together tomorrow. I've got my drill, uh, the battery being charged right now. And um, I want to make sure I'm going to do it on a day that's not going to start raining on me. Um, so within the next couple of days, I'm going to get this together. The little neighborhood kids from next door have been coming over and they said they would help me. The two boys wanted to help me. So I told them to ask their parents, and if it's okay with their parents, they can come over. Because there's some things, I've been watching videos of people putting them together, and there's a, a couple times when I'm going to need an extra pair of hands. So that would be really, really great. Um, 
I haven't completely settled on an idea of where to put it, so leave me some suggestions down below in the comments section on where you think would be the best place to put it. And I'm thinking that the chickens that are going to be in that house and yard will likely not free range. They'll be the chickens that I'm going to choose not to free range. Um, so I, I think it's going to be the Easter, Easter eggers, the four Easter eggers at least. And I may put Olive in there with them um, because I think she may have some Easter egg traits in her. I'm not sure. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll just see which flock ends up in there. And I can also always build a bigger yard around it to give them a little bit more room to roam. But there's going to be plenty of room for them in there. Um, so I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, I think right now we can have a little bit of chicken TV and some garden TV and some fire and dinner TV. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.